All right, guys, we are going to be doing a new series on the channel for uh, Derail Valley Simulator. So we're going to do uh, a freight haul today. That's going to be dark, so I apologize for that part of it. But this is going to be in the DE6. We got a couple different uh, jobs we're hauling. So we got a freight haul, a logistic haul, and I believe uh, another freight haul, and then another rail. So we have four jobs that we're hauling together on this one train. I'm gonna pre-built the train before I got started the recording, so that way you kind of that way you have to watch that whole mess. But I'm gonna do a couple videos in the future, um, showing how to build a train and how I do it. Um, but this is kind of how long the train is. This is in the steel mill, and we're hauling rail from here to the uh, harbor. Um, you gotta see how long this is. Um, I like using this U this uh, UI. Now I do have it on. Um, the easy mode just because I'm still learning the game and stuff. So my my plan is once I get this I'm gonna do a couple episodes on this playthrough on this uh, career mode then I'm gonna start over on the on the standard or harder difficulty and then we're gonna do a, a walkthrough Or a career play playthrough with this so I'm just kind of showing you what I do So we are going what I'm doing is I'm actually backing up the train so I can get around at this hill So that way I don't have to struggle going up this hill but um, I didn't think about this when I started this recording um, before I accepted the jobs where I should have done this in the daytime, so I don't apologize for the darkness. Um, we are going to do this in the night, so you can see the darkness and how I kind of do this. So usually what I do, I'm going to stand on the front of the train and I'll use this UI menu here to control it. So, but I'm, right now I have the track set to go straight back. I'd say that's a positive grade there going up, uh, up. so I try to back up to give myself a little space. I believe I got two engines on this thing too. Um, maybe three. Um, this thing does weigh about 2,800 ton. Uh, 2,600 I think. I pretty much went to the limit of what I could with two engines I believe is what I have on this. So um, this is the heaviest train I've pulled so far. I've done a couple 1400s and it's one uh, DE6 which is kind of pushing it. Um, but this is the most I've done with two locos on this. So we're gonna stop this train here. We're backing up just a little more. I gotta roll about 13 mile an hour, so we're gonna stop this thing. And then we're going to let the uh, once it stops, we're gonna let the brakes bleed off so I don't overheat the traction motors too much. With as long as this train is, once I get to the harbor, I'm gonna have to um, break it and deliver this one uh, job at a time, just because. Um, just because of how long this train is, I won't be able to turn it around and get it where I need to go. So, um, so we're gonna go forward and start. Let, we're gonna let the uh, brakes bleed off here real fast, and then we're gonna get this thing rolling. Go up to about two or three on the throttle, and then let it uh, let it start pulling. So, just gonna keep an eye on the uh, on the uh, temperature there, and we're gonna get rolling. We'll get this thing, let's try to see if we can get to but at least 10, 13 mile an hour by the incline, as long as it's not too bad of an incline. That's that's the first deep grade if I remember right when uh, a couple times I've went up it. So um, the plan is to get this there and then we're gonna do a couple trending videos and then we're gonna build us a long train and come back. So kind of show you like the process of how I usually play. So um, if you guys like videos like this, leave a comment below. Let me know if you want to see in these. Um, like I said, I'm going to do a couple, um, I'll play this pit save for a little bit yet, and then, um, when I do decide to start a new career, um, I would basically do, like, a playthrough, so that way you have to get a video or everything I do, as much as I can attend videos in the train to kind of build trains, because I like to play, I like to actually build the train, like, whatever I deliver, I like to do the something for them, and then get ready to go so I can potentially get more jobs going when so, um, and then when I get to the end of this, I kind of show you what licenses I have, so that we can see what we work with. But I also obviously have a contingent two and the long two, so I have, oops, I'm right, I think I have two locos on this. I might have a third, but I'm pretty sure I only have two. Um, it's kind of hard to tell on that picture, I don't know what I'm seeing, but because um, I did the video, the recording of the, this before I'm doing the audio, I'm going to So I have. I'm pretty sure I got two locals on this. Um, so that's like 2,800 tons is what this thing weighs. You gotta see how long this is. Like the back of it still, I'm pretty sure, is still in a steam mill. It hasn't left it yet. So 
Let's kind of roll them. We got this thing up to about 40 mile an hour. So it's good there. We're still, the back of it's still coming through the steel mill. It hasn't even left there yet. So that's how long this thing is. So we're just going to keep rolling with this and uh, watch where we're headed. And I want to tell you right now, like what I did in this video, the extra travel wasn't that long. It's a majority of it in this video. It's going to be part of it. I'm sure they have to move the this. So we're going to be doing up, up uh, incline here. This is turning up uh, to speed over the next 80. So basically, just take the 8 and put a zero, the, the number, put a zero on the end of it so what the speed is. Uh, with these trains, I don't like to go over 60. Because some of these have blind turns and speed drops, and I'm not a fan of it. So I like to make sure I can at least slow down in a decent amount of time. Watch them go on. So, the track one is starting to feel a little warm, which is alright. Usually, as long as it stays under 95 or 100. Um, I don't have the name of the building I have. is the uh, make it overheat. I don't have any games. I like to so pretend to run the game. So, that's kind of what I'm doing. So, that's the next, the next playthrough that I need to have all that turned on so I can uh, actually start playing more realistic like. But, for right now, this is what we're doing. Um, we've got the. Uh, the Fly up ahead, so we gonna make sure we stay to the, um, the one side here. I'm pretty sure we gotta stay to the left. So we can head to the harbor. Uh, we've got uh, 94 mile an hour, 95 degrees with a protection move. I know it's gonna get mile an hour. So we are uh, going, going left to 7, so we're gonna keep going. We are see if we can pick the throttle back up a little bit enough to get a bit more speed. As I like to like to turn this area, and I know most of this is above 60. I like to make this to where it's more than 55 or 60 mile an hour for a kilometer of the road. So we're just going to keep rolling. We another one here, this is the second one, which should be the little left turn if I remember like so. I did the recording before I did the audio to this, like I do most of my videos, so this is going to be a voiceover. Um, since I don't have a way to do the audio while I'm playing yet, um, I'm still trying to get what I'm trying to figure out too. Um, I like to play with one while I'm doing this too, so if I can do that, this is going to be good. But, I'm going all the place with it, but. I'm going to map where to go left there. Got a good tip of to come to work with. We're going to continue to go 70 around this turn. So we're going to try to get just to like 55 ish. And we have a little speed. We're going to get a little bit of temp to work with too. So we can manage that. We got fuel. We got a little bit there. So let's just keep plugging away here and uh, see what we can't do. We got 80 miles an hour up there, so we're just going to keep rolling. And then, uh, we'll keep plugging away. We got one local there. I see the view right over the corner. Got a little bit coming up here down the next. Why I believe the next split is going to be state of the right because we got to go through the mountains. And here, fortunately, once we get there, it'll be all downtown for the most part. So that's where I don't want you to get out because there's like 18 get in zone finished here. We should be good to go. If this is daytime, this would be a lot easier. So we can kind of see how dark it is in the playthrough. I haven't figured out how to uh, make the graphic fire so if you can see, I like to sometimes do that stuff. I like to make it a little bit easier. Like make it look darker just a little bit better. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. So a lot of this game is still going on. So we're up to about 60 mile an hour now. Back to motor starting to cool down. We're going to be really that high. Uh, try to stay about 60. This speed, uh, we're the ones who can pass the split up here. 
it though before they run around and stuff like that. So, uh, I just keep going and um, we can't do anything going forward. Oh, I'm going to speed up to, looks like around 6970 now. So. Cruising and see what we got uh, as we cruise down this road. We should be catching up to that. Uh, the hard part about driving at night is uh, I don't know where everything is down this uh, stretch. Back to the throttle off, so I'm going to coast and let's get the game to the damage for two. I'll slow down, so I'm going to try to log back it out of the 50 because I believe this is going to find the slower section. And I believe after that, fly is uh, about 40 or 50, so. There's a Y for a flip. section that uh, I believe is 40 so or 50 so we're just gonna slow down get a lot of train to uh, stop it So we're going to back the brake off and let it get a little more speed built up, a little speed built back up to get up in the 50 mile an hour range, plumb an hour, however this is ported. Keep 
video is going to be parking this thing. I'm going to show you how I do it on these. Normally if they were wider, I would just kick them. To get them wrong and I'll get the, the, the brakes so good, but I just find a place that goes, but I think each job is close to 8-900 tons and that takes a lot of stops, so we're going to use the train to stop. This is the thing I like with this game is you can pull a bunch, bunch of tabs at one time. And so we're going to use the middle part to get down here, and then we're going to stop where it comes into it. should have this first job with that car number. So we're going to with this train so this has This is not a logistic hall, this is going to be this one. We'll go to E8I. So we're double checking the car numbers. And uh, we'll get these little cars moving forward. Hold forward a little bit. So I'm going to go into overview and then watch the job number on this until it changes. 
So we're going to take the uh, train brake off, go forward, the bulge pressure, so we're going to watch the train number and the jam number until it switches. We're going to pull it up until it gets to the yard and then we're going to break it as it's rolling. Track, make sure we get where we're gonna go. We're gonna turn around in the, uh, in the oil unloading area. That's what we're supposed to do it. <coughs> we'll get these unhooked, look for the where it goes, and just until so we got four jobs, we're gonna drop, so we a one at a time deal. So we're gonna make sure we turn around over there. So if you just hang under 30, cause I'll, I'll go 30 in the yard, no problem. Most of you can do that. And the only one you can't is the one of the cities. You have to start from one turn, you got to do a 20. So, so make sure we're in the right spot. Make sure we're turning to the right, and then we're gonna go forward here. We're just break it right about here, let it, we'll let it stop on its own. So the car number. We're just going to make sure we're going in the right direction on this to make sure we're going to not hit any train cars on the way. So just make sure we're going to pull far enough forward to go back up. And I, I messed up on this one. I definitely, uh, I won't try not to a car. So I had to uh, fix it, go down the right one, and then I had to make sure we get back into this. This one took a little time for me to fix because I definitely did not go down the right uh, right track. So like as you can see, I'm just looking to make sure that there's no train cars close. They're right there, so we're going to push them backwards. So I'm just undoing the parking or the handbrake so that way I can move it. So we're going to make sure that the, uh, that the, the switches are the right direction. Okay. And we're going to check to see we're going to E8I. So we're going to turn this thing around and it's in the uh, most northern yard of this. Uh, we're just going to double check here. Okay. So you can see we're going to go basically go far enough forward so we can put a turn around and we're going to go into E8I for this. So we're just going to clear the, uh, the switch on the back, so we can reverse into E.
I'm going to stop the thing and rewind back into the other spot. We're going to get it up between 20 and 30 mile an hour, or kilometer an hour, going backwards here. Just going to make sure the switches are correct. Yeah, that should be somewhere up on that area. That's right there, so it's gonna be the right. He's on that one. reverse into this and go to the next step. <clears throat> now if I'm not mistaken, I think this had one or maybe two jobs as part of this one, so it actually has quite a long protection of drain. And this yard is actually pretty long, so... We have a lot of space here to be able to get this in here. So we'll try to break the Stop this thing so we should be past the sign, as well as we're past the sign for the track, we should be good. Break like that, set the brake. <clears throat> and we'll get the next set. back on where they need to go. Turn around. <clears throat> now I would like to just back them into the the yard where they go but there's a chance for where we are going. Um, there's gonna be other cars in that row so we can this way back in the push the cars into the yard where we're going on. We'll slow down and get this set. We 
Actually, if it's raining, I'm going to be pretty fast here because they don't enough to not ram into these things. Let the air build up and let it roll. So, what do you think of what the air fill up? We'll go the other way and unhook. I believe when I did this, I unhooked the uh, two jobs and split them. But we're going to double check that heating. I'm pretty sure I had two jobs here. One was a logistic haul and one was a uh, freight. So there's two different job numbers. So we'll break it at the back of this train after the uh, mark for the line. Break it right there, set the brake to break on that, and our handbrake so that we can slide and we'll go turn this thing around and back in into the spot. So we're gonna go forward here, I don't mind speaking a little bit. Alright, love. And I'm going to slow down the slow. This one is going to be 5i, so that's going to be uh, uh, from the second um, yard from the north, on the far side. It's going to be at the back end. <coughs> <coughs> Make sure that it's the uh, right course. This train isn't as long, so so we're going to use independent brake to stop it. Keep that up for that one, but it's going to be in the second one. Not the third one down, because I'm going to minus the uh, passenger one. So we're going to back this thing up past there, and um, we're going to go forward enough to uh, get past the split so we can drop this. air build back up so we can go backwards. And we're gonna reverse into G5. So this one we're gonna go to the we're gonna turn right up here and we turn right again up there. It's going to be the first lap. There, and then we're going to go up to the first left and you know, left on there so that we go into the yard. Just that to the left already. And then we're going to go G5, which should be uh, the first one to the right after we make it through there. So it should be that one. Yep, that one right there. So we're gonna do the right turn, and then we're gonna be able to go down that one. 
so while this is finishing up if there's anything you guys would like to see I want to do this like I said the next video after this I think it's going to be a couple of something ones to show you how I try to get some extra jobs um, out of here especially when I come down here try to take as many out as I can because I know this is where you can make money moving in and out um, if there's anything in specific you want to see um, I guess we'll do some something here I think there's a DE6 in the in the uh, train yard over there, so I'm going to see if I get a third one on here, do some heavy, heavy hauling. Um, <clears throat> just got to back this, this set of trains up past the sign. Just plus some train brake, just slow down just a little bit. So as long as the car is halfway past the sign on both ends, it's enough. I've had a couple of these where they stick out just a little bit and it still takes it, so it's gonna break it. Reverse because we're already going, we're going forward now. And then, in case you can see, I didn't set the parking brake, so I have to come back after I go do that. So we're just gonna do that, so we're gonna go to the next one. That's what we've done, so we're gonna slide it down to the end. There's two left, so this one I think I grabbed both of them. Right one up here, so I'll show you how I pick them. This one's going to be E9, which is going to be up there, and that one is going to be in G6. So I will put up here. I'm going to hook these up and put here in a moment. So about to hook up to the cars, we're going to turn down just a little bit. So I'm going to ram into them. I figured I found it as well as it's under like. 9, 10 mile an hour, you usually can do it okay and not do any too much damage. So we're going to hook up into these and I went to let it build back up again. And I stopped a little short like I always do, I'm trying to get used to this game still. Get up, let it build up air pressure, which the arc is still good. Forward, stop, and then we're going to report if I can take both sets because I don't think this is a very long part of the train. If I remember right. And the train's pointing forward again, so if we turn this around like we did the last time, it'll be pointing in the right direction to go out next time. So we'll just go over, like I said, I have both sets, so I'm going to kick one into T5, and then, or, into the E yard and then we'll keep going at the G yard so I'll show you how I do that because I like doing that when I have a couple and I know I can back it into it. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna put Back up here, we're gonna figure out which yard's which. So we're gonna take this one in the first one. As long as I have space in the yard to do it, that's the only issue I have. I have to remember if I do usually. So E9 is gonna be next to the one we went over there. And when I do it, I usually get enough speed. You want to get enough speed that the cars can roll the whole time. Um, this one is to the right first, I believe. So this one's gonna be in.
Hopefully that one was empty. I think I was checking to make sure that, that was empty over there. Go to the left here. No. D and G, so... I don't remember which one was that, so we're just going to have to play it by ear on this. We're going to go left up here. I think. Yeah, left. This one was in G6S, I think is where we're going. As long as there's no cars in that row, we're just gonna kick them. So, what I normally do, I will find the car that I'm breaking, then I will select it here, the pre break, and then the pin break on that part of it. I'll let this part roll. <clears throat> and when you do that in this view, it stays with the cars that you break. So, when you get where you're going, you just um, set the handbrake in every car, and it'll stop it. Especially the lighter ones like this. Then this one I set to go forward. Because you can still control the train from here. Okay, watch the speed it's going. So wait for all four of them to pass the sign. Put the handbrake, I'll have park the and they're gone and they're gone. So, so, come to the train, and we're back up on this one. And, you know, we're we'll back up there. So, show you how to do that. Okay, let's turn that one. Yeah. Last one's this one, I did four jobs in this one, and this one did pay for a decent, so... At the end of the video, I'll show you how much I'm going to try and them down here. It took about an hour or so. So once you get farther in the game, like I said, this first clip, I'm just kind of figuring everything out, but... Um, I'm going to do a walkthrough. I'll play through here shortly, so that way you can see... Um, how I do things. <coughs> and then I'll, I'll show most of it on video. So we're going to get past the, the, the switch, turn break, we're going to stop, so we plug it down to about 10 mile an hour, hit it, and I'll have to break. Cruiser reverse T9. E9. And that's good that we went outside what we did. So, like I said, we just gotta back up the funnel to make sure they're all. And then, know what this have as much weight as. I don't like kicking these sometimes just because of the weight. And the, the handbrakes are really not enough to stop them usually. So, put some tracks. If I remember right on this one, there was cars, but yeah, there was no cars in mine, so we should be okay to go there. Let's go back up to the on here, stop, unhook, and then go find the job done. We're just going to put it right to start throwing it out a little bit. Put that in, in just because we don't have much weight on it now. So we are past the sign on this very long, so don't worry about the back end, it's going to make sure we're in the end. Turn brake. Uh, that's a bit park, that's up the handbrake, so we're going to forward. Four years, let's break off for enough to make sure we're off the train. 
And then we are gonna kill the train, I believe. Alright, we're coming to drive in. So this uh, place I haven't found uh, I don't know why I do that at this point I have it on all of them. So we're gonna skip to the office and turn them all in. So let's go one. So we're at three hundred and seventy-seven thousand. Two Three, four. Place of the one, like I said, when I did it, I didn't put the parking, the handbrake on. So when it does that, you can it'll give you a sheet for what you didn't do right, and you can go fix it. So we'll go set that real quick. I'll turn the job in, and then I'll show you the total. So. So 377 was what we started with. I jumped a little too far forward on that. Before we had some car damage on that one. So total was 595. So we made a decent amount. So I just hope you guys enjoyed. There's all the fees we built up from this one. The L's are the locomotives. Um, I said, let me know in the comments what you'd love to see in the future. Get a like and um, pay the copay off so those are all paid for. And then, um, see what licenses we want to do for the future. This is what I have so far. And uh, we'll go from that. It has my military coming up. So that's going to be fun in the future. I said these are all the current jobs, and uh, this is what we're planning on going to work on next time out. So, hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time.